Good morning. We will pay attention to analysis and interpretation today with special attention to stock turnover rate. This rate indicates how many times stock is replenished during the year or how many times a year do you have to replace the stock because it's sold and you have to buy new stock. A higher ratio will indicate that stock sells quickly because you have to replace it more often and that you will make a bigger profit. The higher the ratio, the more efficiently the firm manages the inventory. So that means a higher ratio indicates that they control their inventory properly and that they will make a high, bigger profit because they replenish or uh, purchase new stock on a regular basis. You are provided with information from Alex Limited and we have to work out what is the stock turnover rate. So to calculate the stock turnover rate, we need cost of sales and we need the average trading stock. So we will have to look at the cost of sales and we will have to look at inventory. Then they tell us that the stock turnover rate for 2014 was 2.4 times per year. So we don't have to calculate it for 2014. The ratio to calculate stock turnover is cost of sales divided by the average trading stock. So cost of sales is given to us as 5625. The average trading stock is the inventory at the end of the previous year plus the inventory at the end of the current year divided by 2 will give us the average trading stock at the beginning and the end of the year. And that gives us 3,6 times per year. We will replace the stock because it sold, while in 2014 we replaced it 2,4 times per annum. Although the stock turnover rate for 2015 improved from 2,4 to 3,6 times per year, you should still comp compare it with the following. Compare these figures with the firm's policy to determine if it's satisfactory. Compare this with the industry norm to determine if it's satisfactory and compare, compare it with the stock turnover rate of competitors so that you can determine whether this rate is satisfactory or whether improvements must be made and certain measures must be taken to improve the situation. The following planning and control measures can be implemented to have better control over your stock levels. Sales must be increased so that you can increase your stock turnover because the goods are sold more regularly so you have to replace it more often. This can be done by improving the advertising to have special promotions, for example, two for the price of one, to have annual sales so that all your old stock can be sold. If we take example, for example, Woolworths at the end of every season, they have a sale where they sell all the stock that was purchased for that specific season so that they can get these things out of the stock store and they don't have to provide storage for it and they get the cash flow in immediately so that they can buy new stock for the next season. Timing of your purchases is very important so that the stock is available when it's needed. For example, the latest summer fashions must be purchased in time so that it's available in the store when clients want to buy clothing for the next season. If you receive your inventory too late, you will not sell it because then they went to other stores to buy their clothing from a different store. The latest trends must be investigated so that the correct stock is purchased that the clients are interested in because if the fashion changes and you still keep on buying the old stock, you will not be able to sell it. Better control over stock levels to prevent damaged products, theft, unnecessary storage facilities, 
unnecessary high insurance premiums, etc., so that you can reduce your expenses that will increase your profits. Correlate your purchasing with the sales pattern. So make sure when do the people buy the majority of things so that you have more stock available at that specific time when you sell more and that you don't buy such a large amount of stock in slower uh, times of the month when they don't buy a lot. Analyze the selling patterns to make sure that, that you have what the customers need because you can have a business full of stock. If it's not things that the people need and what they want to buy, you will not be able to sell it. So it's very important to analyze the customer's needs so that you have the right stock available at the correct time when they need it. So you must have the stock available when there's a demand for the stock and you must have the stock available that the people want to buy. What did we learn? It is very important to ensure that stock turnover rate is high to prevent an overinvestment in stock, that you don't have too much money invested in the stock, that will result in cash flow problems because you first have to sell the stock before you can get cash for it. And if you don't sell the stock, you will not have enough cash to pay the liabilities and expenses. The ratio indicates how many times stock is replenished during the year. So how many times do you buy new stock during the year? If we have a higher ratio, it indicates that the stock sells quickly and that we will make a good profit. This can also help the firm to ensure that they have enough stock to satisfy demand, that they don't run out of stock because they didn't buy enough stock. The optimum level of stock is where there's enough stock to satisfy the demand, but that you don't have too much stock so that your money is tied up in the stock and you don't have money to pay your expenses and liabilities. The faster the stock is sold, the lower amount is invested in stock and the quicker you will have money available to pay your liabilities that will give you a higher rate of liquidity. The company will have more cash on hand if stock is sold faster, otherwise the money is tied up in the assets until it's sold and it can be exchanged for money.